What's up my YouTube family? I'm Jeremy from Wild Tech Designs and what have I got for you today? But an awesome Chinook. So guys, I know that there's a ton of these out there and I see people constantly on the forums asking what can I do to improve the suspension? What can I do to improve the ride? You may have the more ride set up on this, on your Chinook, which this one also had on there which I want to address because my own personal opinion is I'm not a big fan of them. I don't like the way that they ride and I feel that there's a lot of things that you can do to improve upon the ride. However, this is gonna be the negative thing that a lot of you guys say is, oh my gosh, I could never imagine lifting my Chinook because it would just be, these things are already so big and if I lift it, it's going to be that more, it's gonna be, that much worse and I want to tell you look at there goes another van JCH you ever need your concrete floors polished call JCH concrete but um anyways guys but for real I just I have to tell you this is false and not you know a lot of people also say oh put airbags on it and I just if I had hair I would pull the rest of it out these are just like band-aids to the real problem that you know we want to address when we get into these Chinooks. So on this guys, I'm gonna go through the front of the suspension. I'll go through what we did in the rear suspension. And this is gonna be like a part one of this video because I know we're gonna be doing a lot more stuff to this. And then here I'm gonna put it out there in YouTube world. I'm also gonna be building a killer back bumper. So if you have a rear entry Chinook or even if you have a side entry Chinook, I do have a bumper coming for you guys that's going to be amazing. So let's jump up into the front of this thing and the first thing you'll notice is that it has a lot bigger tire on there. So we did go to a lot bigger tire and this is gonna be a 235 16 We're not changing out the wheels at all. This is still the stock wheels and if you notice on a lot of these we do like our blackout package um, where we will black out these hubcaps. If you have the metal hubcaps, it's a really cheap option that you can do to just change the overall look of your Chinook. But up in the front of this, we've done our coil springs, we've done our Fox shocks in the front, we've done our modified I-beams, and then we've also done our extended radius arms. Now the big plus in these radius arms is going to this bigger size tire right here, you're gonna see that this still has a ton of clearance in there and that it's going to be able to articulate a full droop and compression. You're not gonna have you know, issues with your tires rubbing on the backside of your wheel well or your skirting, which is going to be nice. The other benefit in these extended radius arms as well is that we build the caster into them and you're gonna have less caster change as your wheel moves up and down, another plus. To finish this thing off in the front, we've also added our Fox steering stabilizer. And this Fox steering stabilizer is completely bolt-on and you can use that with your factory suspension. So if you just have a stock Chinook and you want to kind of, your steering feels a little bit loose or down some of these roads that you drive on, it's just not that great. That is definitely something that's going to help improve um, just the overall dampening of the steering, that energy from your wheels getting travel, that's traveling all the way up through the steering column. It's a big plus. Definitely going to say, you know, thumbs up on that. And it's a pretty inexpensive thing that you can do that will make a big difference. So that's what we did up here in the front to get all this height out of it, just for it to be just amazing. Let's go talk about what we did to the back. So in the back, you're gonna see that we have a ton of room still in the back of this wheel well with these tires. We're running these dualies and there's no need to run a wheel spacer in the back of this with this size tire, which is a big plus. So something to think about if you're gonna go to a bigger, a wider tire than a 235, that may be something that you would have to address in the back. Now this did have the more ride suspension that we completely took out and removed all of it. We replaced it with the original like OEM factory shackle mount and shackle in there as well and i'll tell you the dramatic ride improvement is noticeably right away this also has a giant one of our giant side of custom springs in there with the arc built into it so we're not running a block in the rear and you can tell the improved height of this is really 
you know, it's I mean, pretty drastic. And the problem with this is even the owner was saying that this all was very low and he was dragging a lot of the back of this whole section on his driveway, which seems to be like a pretty big thing with a lot of people is whether it be pulling it into a driveway or even some of the camp places they go to, if it has any kind of incline when you go to back in, you're wanting to drag and obviously we've said this before if you tear this off your rv it's just a shitty situation just saying so anyways austin will have fun with that making fun of me with that one but overall guys i want to tell you that you know this thing is pretty rad and they are amazing so enough about the outside of what is going on what we did yes that's all fun and games i know you guys also love checking out the inside of this so i've already locked the door so i don't get locked out so let's go check out the inside all right as we're hanging out inside of this thing this thing is so hot i had to put on my casey nystas actually these were just sitting on the couch so instead of sitting on them i decided to put them on you know why not um so i love these things inside they're super simple it looks like it's missing the tv and the TV's sitting right there in the box still. But overall, I mean, this is pretty, I've seen, I'm gonna have to try to remember on some of these things, but I swear a lot of them don't have as big of a dinette on there, and I could be wrong. Comment below, let me know if I am wrong. But I like this because I feel like two people in here could be really comfortable. You could have another person in even a third person. So if you were, you know, two parents and a child, this would totally be doable, you know, in something this size. I think that that's totally reasonable. And I've even seen some of the little beds that kind of, it's like a blow up deal that goes between the two seats if you want to add a fourth, which, you know, why not? The more the merrier. But inside this, it's super simple and I like it. And I'm always amazed when you get in some of these and the pure age of them, and I mean, this thing looks really nice. I mean, unless this thing has been reupholstered, um, you know, the seats and everything is in really good shape. I mean, even the wood, I'm looking at the finish on here, and I mean, either they built these things really nice or someone took amazing care of this because it is super clean. Um, I mean, everything. So you're gonna have the storage up in the front, which is always nice. So a lot of times people are gonna be putting linens, things of that nature up in the front, which is rad, and then, in here lots more storage more storage which is always going to be killer so very cool very cool i like it um, keeping it simple our sink and of that nature and then i'm going to go ahead and switch with austin so austin can come take a look at this because we have our giant master bathroom right there so see i disappear Oh wait, look, right here, guys. This is what you guys always wanted. Two of me, right? Two of me? No, not so much. All right. So anyways, super cool. I mean, not much to it. Um, you know, our cooktop, pretty basic, you know, Chinook style. So I hope you guys like seeing the insides of these as much as the outside of this. If you guys have any questions about building your Chinook or just even improving the ride quality um, on your Chinook, you know, please comment below. Let us know what you want to do, what you have questions about, or what you're interested in doing. We at Wild Tech Designs would love to help you out. As for me, I know that you guys have already smashed that subscribe button and given this video a big thumbs up. Um, and otherwise, that's it, guys. I'll see you in the next video.